I, I think that's an excellent question. It's it's like a classic question on the road, right? If you're so smart, why aren't you rich? Yeah. Uh, the equivalent of that for a civilization. And we must not glibly dismiss that question. Having said that, let us also see that something like a European Union is still in the formation stages of United States of Europe. So they had more of a devolved competitive structure, which made them rich. They did imperialism. They also killed each other a lot in two world wars. And now they're trying to become a United States of Europe. And maybe after Brexit, they'll have a more coherent European Union in the next 10 years. We, on the other hand, did universal adult franchise first. We had a long history. I mean, this is more politically contested. We had a long history of colonialism, even before the British. Uh, there was, a, and especially in the British, there was a deindustrialization, not just relatively, but absolutely. Parts of South India and what are now Bengal and Bihar were actually manufacturing centers of textiles throughout the world. And there was activist British trade policy. Uh, contrary to the later corn laws or free trade laws in 1840s onwards, where they actively deindustrialized India. But nonetheless, with the two world wars, we actually got a lot of industrialized complexity and state capacity just as we became independent. But then the Avadi resolution and then an over, uh, you know, too overvalued rupee, etc. And then Indira Gandhi's nationalization, etc. kind of lost that momentum. We were much more industrially complex than China in the late 1940s. Um, and I think one big part was also chose the wrong partner in Cold War. Uh, you know, we, we ended up choosing the, <laughs> the losing side de facto. Um, so even though there was a lot of to and fro in the early 60s during 1962 war. So I think there were a bunch of mistakes we've made. All, I, but I think it's also because we were not a coherent nation. We, as we write, that we actually have been a civilization. But the quaint phrase nation building is not inaccurate. We are still in the phrases of building the nation, the IES elite, which now a lot of people, including us, take faults in, but the first all India elite, so to speak. Now the commercial elite is becoming the all India elite. Uh, the people in the villages are not necessarily still all India, although now the internet is probably changing that. So I think it's, it's in, a, in a larger time frame, some mistakes were inevitable. And I think we are on the path to that. I, I'm very optimistic um, without being panglossian, if I may say so. China, for example, even though it is also a modern state only in the last few decades, nonetheless has a state or an imperial lineage for almost two millennia. So they've been in the business of governing others and ruling others, governing themselves and ruling others uh, for a long, long time. And there is a very central kind of Han core to the Chinese state. Um, and you know, the Chinese were obviously occupied and divided indirectly, but they were never fully occupied like the Indians were. And they sinicize the Jurchens and the Mongols um, and the various non-Han empires within a couple of centuries. You know, the way Indians used to do with the white Huns and, you know, some people say the Gujars and the Rajputs have foreign origins, etc., etc. If you go back in time or the Indo-Greeks earlier. So I think because they had a state, uh, they were more obsessed with state craft. And I think Indians have basically kind of dis rediscovering that. In the Arth Shastra was not even known in the 19th century. I think it was like some... Scraps were found in the early 20th century. And now we retrospectively say we had a lineage of statecraft for 2,500 years. Uh, you know, he is the Machiavelli before the Machiavelli, so to speak. So I think there are, Indians are, have been, because we've been not politically autonomous or free for a long time, the first, we, we became very inward looking. And only now that we have a, our own nation state, after a long, long time, uh, I'm pretty sure in 10 years, there will be books written about power and wealth in the Indian context. I think we're just kind of catching up, but you know, maybe, maybe that's not accurate. That's just my sense.